Dear brothers and sisters, last week at the end of my homily, I asked you to pray the rosary daily. I hope you were able to do it at least once during the week. For us Catholics, it is obvious that our loyalty to Mary helps us to be more committed to Jesus. The example of her life encourages us to say yes to God's will, no matter how difficult it might be. By praying the rosary, we meditate upon Christ's life through her eyes. Throughout the centuries, many popes underlined the importance of Marian devotion. In 2002, Saint John Paul II extended the joyful, sorrowful and glorious mysteries to include the mysteries of light. One of the roots of these mysteries can be found in today's Gospel. Saint Mark tells us that after John the Baptist had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the good news of salvation. The Lord announced the kingdom of God. He said, The time has come, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the good news. That is what we should have in mind when we pray the third mystery of the fourth part of the Rosary. We call it the proclamation of the kingdom of God. When introducing the mysteries of light, the Pope's goal was to focus our attention on more elements of Jesus' mission, like, for example, a selection of his disciples. That is what we read about in today's Gospel. Jesus asked different fishermen to follow him. It must have been a very powerful experience for those simple men, because they were able to immediately leave everything behind and become his disciples. Dear friends, the mysteries of light help us also to reflect upon Christ's baptism in the Jordan River. That is what we were celebrating at the end of the Christmas season two weeks ago. The luminous mysteries recall the miracle Jesus performed during the wedding at Cana, his transfiguration and the institution of the sacrament of the Eucharist. I would like to encourage you to find time to pray and meditate upon the fourth part of the Rosary at least every Thursday. It is truly a beautiful way of reflecting upon Jesus' life and his mission. While praying, imagine that you are standing in the River Jordan looking at Jesus' baptism. Then see yourself present at the wedding celebration at Cana. Next, listen to the Lord proclaiming the kingdom and asking everyone to repent. Envisage a scene when Jesus takes you with Peter, John and James to the mountain and there you see him transfigured. Finally, look at the Christ when he takes the bread and says, This is my body. And then, taking the cup, he declares, This is my blood. Brothers and sisters, may the meditation of the luminous mysteries of the Rosary increase our love for Jesus and Mary.